Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. I've just been to a car boot sale, probably the first of the season. £1.50, got myself an Apple whoop, Apple keyboard. That's the old style iMac one. Plastic, really good condition. Actually looks like, looks like new. Always useful to have if you've got an old iMac. You never know when it's going to be worth money being Apple, eh? But this was more interesting. This was for the grand total of three British pounds. And frankly, it's probably too much is the Little Tykes Learn and Drive. And if you know the Cozy Coupe, which is this sort of car they make, do you remember you've seen that? You've seen it all the playgroups, play, playgrounds, kids love it. So I saw this and thought, oh, my youngster's gonna love this because you plug it into the TV, look, it's a TV style game thing. You've got your key to start, a horn, a steering wheel, a throttly thing, forward, backwards, gear shift, and then look at the graphics. Graphics. The graphics look quite good on the box. I was thinking, oh, you know, excuse the shininess. I'm not going to plug this in a TV and show you the graphics of the sound because frankly, it's not worth the effort. I'll show you what it looks like. It's a real shame because the device itself is really nice. It's really sturdy plastic like their other things. The steering wheel's good, it's all good. And how it works is you just plug it into the TV like most of those games which use the composite connection. You just turn the key and that actually turns it on. It's nice, It's it basically, t this turns it on and it turns itself off after a while, which is great because these sorts of games my kids leave on all the time and drain the batteries. It takes four AA cells by the way, speaking of batteries. Um, and that's it, basically you load up the game, go through the menu, you know, push the horn to sort of start and Left and right doesn't seem to do anything, it just kind of makes the road bend left and right, so you can never crash, so you don't really have to avoid anything. You've got this to go forward and this to go backwards, and you actually go in reverse faster than you go forward, which is a bit lame and a bit weird. And basically you sort of travel forward through this game and then there's, you know, a few numbers pop out and every now and then there's an obstacle that, you know, you have to stop to cross, you know, allow to cross the road. But here's the weird thing. The car stops anyway for you, even if you actually don't hit stop. So that's sort of a bit pointless. And then when it starts raining or snowing in the game, you can actually hit the horn. The horn is actually doubles up as a windscreen wiper as well. So odd, but yeah, fine. They could have added an extra button for that. Uh, but again, if it rains or snows, the car will like stop and start washing the windscreen anyway by itself. So this is really pointless. My son's three, and after about you know two minutes, he was like, "What the hell, Dad? This is just lame." Because you know they're used to playing real computer games, you know, Wii's and stuff. You know, so this this is actually still online. You know, you can buy this for like thirty quid if you really want to disappoint a sort of three-year-old. On the box, it says three plus years, but you know, buy this and give it to a one-year-old. A one-year-old would really like this. They'd probably keep entertained, probably more by the actual, uh, you know, this bit than the actual. Game game itself so it's a really missed opportunity for you know little tykes uh, to come up with something great this would have been really cool the only uh, saving grace for this is that it was only three pounds and one I could probably give it as a gift to somebody say here you go and you know they'll, they'll go yay thanks Uncle Andrew until they actually try it and then hate me or um, you know I might just rip this out and put a Raspberry Pi 3 in it and just put some sort of crazy um, virtual racing or something on it you know whatever emulated system maybe stunt car racing from back in the day do you remember that I'm pretty sure this isn't a proportional control so that's the one thing one gotcha um, but yeah other than being a case for another console or game I would not recommend you buy this uh, for your kids unless maybe you got it for three pounds and Frankly, even then, three pounds is three pounds you could have spent on something else at a car boot sale, like a uh, you know one of those Nintendo rip-off TV games. So as it stands, the little tykes not advised. Please leave your comments down below if you've had one of these. I'm sure you have. If you really, or your sister, or your younger cousins, or something, please tell us what you your experience of this. Maybe it, I'm pretty sure it's going to be exactly the same as mine. Very disappointing. Um, yeah, please and yeah, please feel free to subscribe and let me know what kind of videos you'd like me to make. I promised to make a video a day for a month, and now that's nearly a year. My year's nearly up. Maybe I should just sort of throttle back, start making a, one video a week, maybe actually doing one of some quality. Let me know what you'd prefer. Daily vlog of low quality, or maybe a couple of videos a week of slightly higher quality. Who knows? As ever, thank you for watching.